I don't have any first though, so I'll lose all tiebreakers. I gotta make sure I get... If I get one first, I'm like basically guaranteed to move on. I win all tiebreakers and then the point lead. If I go first, the only way I can lose is to go like 7-7 seven, seven or worse. I could also just like 4th, fourth, 4th, fourth, 4th fourth and still move on. If I go 8th, it's still possible to move on. Oh, I forgot to check what Legends my lottery was playing. Serpentine River is good under some circumstances, but not all. Serpentine River is good if you want a win streak. But I'm not sure if I'm going to play win streak or lose streak here. I guess it didn't matter. Uh, let's go and take a look at the legends. Poro, 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 Ezreal, Poro, TF. Okay, only one guy is playing TF. TF players tend to play lose streak and then set up a really strong board later. But everyone else is normal. I, I want to play for streak here. Oh my god, is it challengers again? I mean, I'm down. The line's fresh in my head. I'm never going to make that Demacia blunder ever again for the rest of my life. We should also hold, uh, kills. I am here to test souls. One guy's holding kills. He's looking at it. Not kill game. Not a kill game. One guy is Jin. Nico. This guy's unsure yet. I have Noxus. BT. Oh my god, it's actually... It's actually challengers again. I like stationary support. Harmasis is pretty good if I want to play challengers specifically. Especially with this BT slam. I feel like the stationary support is just so high value here. As long as my dummy dies early. The support item is really good for Fiora. Not to mention, like, this comp is a little low on front line. If you get- most uh, dummy items can just be thrown on the front. Front center. You could even front line your Kai'Sa if you needed to. I think it's better than Harmus this turn. Shimmer injector. Noxus is probably better. Actually, I feel like this might be better. Oh my god, that Demacia. Well, it doesn't look like anyone's contesting me. Bow and Samira is probably a little bit better, but assuming this makes his Titans, I'd rather just have it on Warwick. I also want to deal more damage to players and force them to roll earlier. Let's start the show. <sighs> I have but one life to give for Ionia. I must make it count. He's got such a strong front line, but he doesn't really have a back line. I'm not sure if I beat him. I'm gonna say that I probably don't beat him, but I think I beat everyone else. Yeah, it's probably not worth leveling. Even if I lose, like, I still make 10 at least. I should be able to beat him. A lot of how well I do this game, it comes down to like how good my item is. If it's an item that can directly boost my Fiora and my Kai'Sa power, that's awesome. If it's something that's like, like the worst one I can probably get is the gem. That, that's probably horrible. Yeah, the gem would literally be like worse than slot here. It'll never proc. 
in this comp. But there's a lot of good ones. The Banshee's Veil, the Zeke's, the Chalice. Pretty sure I just want component anvil here. Rerolls would not be bad. And I don't want the spatula. Kale, Noxus, Noxus, Shrima, Banks. Noxus? A lot of Noxus. Nico, Banks. Okay, here's my ch here's my Titans. Uh, I'm not a fan of the spat. The spat can be a challenger spat, or... Yeah, it's a, it's a challenger spat, or uh, a jug spat. But, like, neither is that good for me compared to what other players are getting, so I'm a little sad by this. But the best late game would be, like, you do challenger Aatrox, if you can make it to eight. Not sure if I can make it there, though. I almost lost to a guy with 30 gold. Oh, fuck. I'm definitely losing to Galio guy. And then I win two out of three matchups. I don't think it's worth leveling. Don't face the Galio guy. Okay, I didn't. Now, do I want to sell one Swain or one Irelia? Probably one sign. They're both pretty good though. I really too lets me pivot to four challengers. Swain too lets me just like keep my current board and stay strong, but I definitely would have to pivot off later. This is a good five streak. The higher will be just get, just get a spat here. I'm not sure if I want to level here. If I hit Warwick too, I might want to level. Otherwise, I can probably just let my streak go. Also, like, I'm playing kind of a down in Augment right now. It doesn't have its support item. So, I'm like in a high roll spot for sure. We can just like lose our streak, chill, and then... I probably just... I'm uncontested again. Maybe the Noxus players pick up Fiora, but I doubt it. I could just like wait until 4-2. Oh wow. Oh wow, Shojin? That's perfect. Holy shit. And a Slain too. Oh, and a- wow, what the heck? And I just level here. Really, really, really good mid game. This always happens. I like keep playing the same build. Not because it, I'm trying to force it, but the game just kind of gives me the same build. I own a banks earlier and now challengers. I am definitely a bit more uh, biased to play it after the lines rush in my head, though. All right, well, uh, challenger spat and jug spat are both good. Oh, I can't get jug spat. Okay, Challenger Spat's actually good here. Or Challenger Heart Gain of Warwick would be the best. Because I don't actually need the Spat. I just want to have the next tier of Challengers. Well, it's not Late Game Specialist. I'm not reaching 9. Uh, I like Red Buff. Wait. It could be Pandora's Bench. Pandora's Bench is a play for first. Red buff is a play for like third. I, uh, I'm gonna take the safe one. I'm gonna play for third. Uh, I think I roll like a little bit here. Try to hit one of my two stars. Hopefully, it won't take too long. Okay. I don't think I roll anymore. I probably say this is good enough. If I lose, like so be it. Thirty gold is still fine. If I roll and miss, then it's actually just over.
I rolled because I had three pairs, but I hit the worst one, but like it's probably still fine. There's a huge emphasis on me making it to level 8 here. Okay, I, I gotta remember, I have red buff, so I don't need Heimer. Uh, Azir. I don't think I can make Azir work here. You could maybe do like... I don't, I don't think it's better. Wait, Ionia spat? Ionia spat? Ionia spat? Noxus spat? No, uh, Nico? Kale? Oh, I'm like super uncontested. Well, there are a few people who might hold... Uh... Yeah, there's a few people who might hold Furas. Because uh, they are reward they are playing Noxus. Fiora is a good item holder. But like, I should be good. Oh. Oh, this is really close. Nice. Okay, I'm about to get my item. This is a huge pause champ moment. If I get Virtue of the Mart- No, sorry, not Martner. Um, if I get like Zeke's or Chalice or the Banshees, it's all really good. But if I end up getting like Virtue of the Martyr, it's, or uh, Martyr or the big gem, it's really useless. I'm down for that Kaisa, and then I'm down for Tear. Oh wait, I just realized I should not have been down for Tear. Oh, Kaisa. Oh, Zephyr? Wait, what, what was my other choice? Was it a belt? I feel like if I go 7 and roll a little bit, I just went out. Fuck, I didn't have time to think about it. Thank God! Holy shit, thank God, thank God. I didn't finish my pivot. Oh my God. In fact, I felt like I made my board weaker. I need to do this, and then do that, and then do this, and then do that, and then do this. Okay, now my board is good. Uh, and I'm down to roll down to see if I can hit like one thing. I won't roll too deep. I'm not a fan of the Zephyr. Because, like, if you want to actually Zephyr good units, you have to, like, aim it at the back. It's so risky. Because if you aim it at the back, then it's just a dead dummy. It's not the worst thing ever. It helps me out late game. One more ult, Fiora. Oh, no. Oh, my God! Oh, fuck! My team's working overtime. Uh, honestly, I'm down to sack three, go eight. Like, I, I rode this streak very well. When you got our one stars, I'm down to just chill. You could roll it down here to try to keep streak. I'd rather just like, guaranteed lose my streak, go eight with a lot of money. Uh, probably a forged tier here. See what we get. IE. IE is not a horrible replacement. It, it could be played on Kaisa. It saves me a lot of HP. I might just do it. I think I'm gonna do it. I think it'll it'll save me a good amount of HP over the the course of the game. I'm going to be a little bit weaker at late game. Yeah. 
I feel like most likely the carousel is gonna be used to play around this bat anyway. Don't wanna have three unslimed components. It could have been a TG though. TG someone else. Uh, is it ever... Binary actually looks really good from this spot. Well, sort of. Because then... It could also be the egg. Uh, that's so risky. You have now reached 100 gems today. I'm pretty sure it's just binary. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, wait, ancient archives. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. About time I got my hands. I might not play, um. I'm probably not gonna play a uh, radiant item then. That tome could have been interesting. The egg was also interesting. I feel like binary is quite good here. Kind of sad choices, honestly. If I was a little bit stronger, I think I would have taken the egg, but I was a bit too weak to feel confident. If I go eight and then I don't hit, I actually just die and I throw the game. Let me think about how I'm gonna make this work. So you don't run Damasi anymore. We'll just run Jugs, maybe a Silco. Nice, my Fjord stuck to the back line. It's all up and roll. So the goal here is now to just play like a bunch of high value units with binary. Get a challenger spat or a jug spat. You can do challenger Aatrox, challenger Azir, challenger Nasus. A lot of good choices here. Component anvil is really good for me. So is rerolls. All right, let's level it up. Uh, I really wonder how would it have gone if I took the, the thing, the two tomes. I could have gotten some good stuff, but Fjord doesn't scale that hard off of this. You can't put any of the tomes on your Fjord or Kai'Sa. I think this is the correct play, but it doesn't feel very good. I'm in a very good spot to get like a fourth or third here if I play well. Oh man. Fuck it, a spat. Oh, remover and reforger. Do I want Challenger Spat or Jug Spat? I think I want Challenger Spat. Okay, I can also remove this uh, thing off of Kaisa. This got uh, this this sucks with my binary airdrop in an awkward way. Like Fiora has the stare X, okay, but now she doesn't get binary. If I give Quinn the the radiant, then she loses the binary. I think you just like have Fiora not get binary, it's fine. And then you just binary everyone else. Okay, and then I believe I'm going to item move this IE. And then I'll reforge it alongside one other component. I'm I'm really dizzy by the way. <laughs> I'm really nervous. But I think my current board's pretty good. Uh, and then we'll aim our Zephyr. 
I can duplicate this Quinn, but I'm not 100% sure I want the Quinn yet, because if I hit Aatrox, Challenger Trux is better. Can we binary the Jarvan? Or the Nasus? It might be a rebuild of Quinn, we'll see. GG. Okay, we're definitely item moving. Okay, so I'm gonna do, um, I think I, think I know what we're gonna do here. Uh, we're gonna do Challenger Nasus with BT, and then eventually move it to Aatrox. Took a little bit too long on the roll down, but it's fine. I'm a beast. All right, give me one more Quinn. Uh, I'm, I meant Kai'Sa, but you get the idea. Challenger, and then I guess Quinn can have this. Was, these items aren't. Uh, yeah. Oh my God! Look at my positioning. This dummy makes me go right onto the Zaya. Oh, I guess Nyla. Oh, I made the blunder again. Okay, at least I have HP this time. But that probably cost me like 4 HP. Maybe more. It probably cost me 6 HP there. Uh, I can roll one time and hit a Kai'Sa. Wow, I said I was never going to make that blunder ever again. And then I made that blunder immediately in the next game. Okay, I think it's still too scary to... It's still too scary for me to aim my Zephyr specifically until I know my matchups for sure. Killing this guy's Mordekaiser immediately is huge. Oh my god, I'm on his Cassio? Oh, wait, he's really strong. What the fuck? I took like 30 damage. Top three though? Top three without like hitting my Kai'Sa? Imagine an Aatrox on this carousel. No, I... Probably Spark. It's probably gonna be like Spark, even Shroud, Jarvan. Oh yo, I'm just, I'm playing for a second. This guy is way too strong. Timer? No. Okay, I think I'm walking straight up to the Zaya again. I'm glad I'm facing his ghost. He's facing the Cursed Crown guy. Nice, my Aatrox sniped. Wait, he still kicked my ass. Wait a second. What? Really? I sniped his... Oh my god, I, I need Kaisa here. Please. No. No Kaisa? Okay, I actually need to... Okay, I actually have to pull off a Zephyr snipe then. I think I know who I'm gonna snipe. Aim for the Ari. Vanquisher Ari with bullet. Oh no! Oh, he outplayed me. No. He knew I was gonna go for the Ari?
Dang, I lose. Oh, wait, what? I'm alive. Oh? Okay, wait, the tiniest chance of a second. I mean, third place is already pretty good. The highest I could possibly place is second here, because this guy is level 850 gold cursed crown. Uh, but I have to beat this guy. It's doable, but I just have to like, go for a very aggressive Zephyr snipe. <sighs> the best item I can get here is an even shroud. Or just a good tank item. Uh, Last Whisper is technically. Wait. Oh, I'm against this guy. It's probably Declaw. Just rolling for Aatrox. Okay, so how do I beat this guy? I have to like pull off the snipe. First part complete. Second part is, can I high roll the fight? Oh no, Fjord died, barely. Ah, oh, it's over. Okay, I, mean, I, I was probably not winning that fight, but if I somehow did, I could have gotten second. I got the snipe, but if Fjord lived for the next ult, and then like some miracle gets her, to back to full HP, like through Aatrox lifesteal, there was a tiny chance, but overall not bad.